Now a question for you, what do you do if you have lots of a product that no one wants? The price dives and your stocks become worthless. That's what's happened to oil thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. Demand is low, but storage facilities are full. On Monday, it got even worse. The price went negative, meaning that traders were paying customers to take the stuff away. The coronavirus pandemic has brought economies around the world to a halt, along with a demand for oil. After weeks of tumbling prices, crude dropped below zero for the first time. Producers literally can't give it away. An agreement last week between leading oil-producing nations to slash output clearly failed to address worries about a huge glut of oil. This is quite a lot to do with the uh, with consumer demand. Uh, I, I think we've got a an economic um, uh, disaster coming ahead of us still. So right now, uh, all we're doing is dealing with the um, lack of traveling from these lockdown measures. So people aren't going to work, people aren't dropping their kids to school, uh, nobody's flying anywhere. And that's really causing a demand problem. And since storage facilities have filled up, oil is now practically worth nothing. For more details, let's speak to our business reporter, Rob Watts, who brought us that report. Rob, welcome. So what exactly do negative oil prices mean? Well, imagine after the show, we go to a shop, say it's open, to buy a chocolate bar. And we go up to the shopkeeper and we say, uh, how much is this chocolate bar? And he says, minus one euro we'd be very pleasantly surprised because what that would mean is that he's going to give us a chocolate bar and he's going to give us a euro as well. It sounds preposterous, but that is the position that we found ourselves in with US oil yesterday. Basically, producers were having to pay buyers to take it off their hands. Since the start of the coronavirus outbreak, people haven't been flying, they've not been driving. All these things require oil. So oil demand has fallen greatly, but production hasn't fallen by the same amount. So it's meant that producers have got this backlog of oil. It's starting to cost a lot of money to store that oil. They've been having to rent tankers off the US coast to put it on. Right. And it's reached the point where it's more expensive to keep it than it is to sell it. So they've been having to literally pay people to take it off their hands and, and handle the storage costs instead. A friend described it as the barrel costing more than the oil that's within it. But then just on the point that you were making, why is production continuing when there's clearly no demand? Yeah, well, th this is uh, something that, you know, nations around the world have been arguing about over the past few weeks. We did have this agreement between the OPEC nations and their allies to cut global production by 10 million barrels a day a couple of weeks ago. It turns out that's not enough to cut it by. But also in the US, companies there have been reluctant to cut their own production. There are certain costs associated with doing that. They also don't want to give their competitors a chance to overtake them. So production has continued, even though they can't sell the stuff fast enough. So it's going through the refineries, but it's got nowhere to go. Uh, it's an interesting example you gave about the chocolate bar. I would love to get a chocolate and be paid one euro for it. So if I'm a normal consumer, oil is effectively free. That's a good thing, isn't it? Well, it's a good thing for drivers in the US at the moment. Actually, it's already been a good thing all year for the US. Since the start of January, petrol prices there have fallen by two thirds. So drivers are having a, a great time of it there. At least they were when they were allowed out on the roads. Now there are much fewer people on the roads. The petrol price is very low, but where are you going to drive? How are you going to use that petrol? So we can expect the petrol prices to still be low when the economy does start to get going again in the United States lower than they were before the coronavirus outbreak. But as people take to the roads again, those prices are going to go back up. You can have the oil now, but do nothing with it. That's an interesting uh, dilemma to be in. Rob Watts, yeah. thanks so much for explaining that to us.